The enemy sends fast food when its tummies are rumbling. As persistent Americans throw dollars to consume, junk food that settles like evil metabolic garbage, leading the distracted, overwhelmed country to its doom. Perhaps the Middle East creates food considered debris to keep kids full of calories and anticipation, holding the microwaving nation hostage with hunger, addicting soldiers to fast food to make a fat nation. Perhaps the other countries know the curse is yet to come when a quick fix feeds nausea and brutal addiction as the military gut fattens with a tooth abscess causing nationalistic and cruel stomach affliction. Perhaps the Chinese know the drive through of easy access as voices of Iran and Iraq are big screen menus feeding mouths that eat with mechanical repetition while Russia creates more sneaky, toxic fast food venues. Institutions cause obesity by complacency stripping American victims of a natural path while subverting impulses by visions of sales gimmicks. And it is Japanese and Koreans leaving their wrath. No pop culture feeds its powerful figures preaching on the large screens of Afghanistan perception using their foreign chemical pumps to improve flavor leading to the mass Saudi Arabian deception France and Germany force the nation to consume its crap and the rest of Europe fries it in hot venomous grease killing Americans with deadly high cholesterol, hoping the freedom of its fatal pain will never cease. Perhaps the underhanded enemy can win its war when integrity of physical bodies are at stake, keeping the Americans on a drug known as fast food or another piece of heavy chemical birthday cake. Egypt wants to destroy all American arteries, while Turkey injects sales pitches in their combusting veins. The Palestine serves death with a dark and passionate smile, as Syria thrives on electrocuting stomach pains. Pakistan makes the ignorant children the prime target, snuggling up to cunning Ronald McDonald clown dolls as Muslims create artful, recognizable logos while the Mexicans write commercial ads on the walls. The Taiwanese shove those attractive symbols into minds, overfeeding false dreams and salty notions of pleasure, as an oligarchy of its corporate perversion, tempting American citizens with fast food leisure. The Vietnamese shove food down exonerated throats with repulsive, corruptive treachery that is unrivaled, leaving the Americans with a consumption habit that cannot be won by declaring war, nor be stifled. The fast food of the enemy is a peas and appetite, 
drenched in doses of salt and sodium that lie in wait, decomposing blood vessel pathways from their inside out. And the moldering American children are its bait. A weapon of war is systematic malnutrition, manifesting pain by the nonsense citizens consume, leaving the unknown bloodshed scar of humiliation. No flesh spared, while unaware victims will suffer its gloom. This chemical mass-marketed food is medication, poisoning its war-torn people a little every day. But most need the flashing annihilation to survive, not comprehending population control and decay. Side effects of fast food pounding against splintering bones have no disclaimer at the end of a drug commercial with supersized battered hearts hammering on its bruised ribs where its harsh blistering wounds are uncontroversial. The enemies ignore the onset of obesity increasing the war invading chance of diabetes from distorted perceptions, its calorie content, lingering upon dry tongues and the foreign sweet treaties. Many Americans live generations of burgers, needed like an accursed needle war horn heroin fix, needing to have an order filled like in past victories, smelling the scent of flesh and blood in the calorie mix. The enemy is reflections at the dinner table, where faded glory of diabetes is the main course, and the system in place has cooked the American will with uncontrolled, abroad bloodlust, with no remorse.